My content is intended for adult collectors of the product, not made for kids. Hello everyone, so here we have a combination of Ultimate Valkyrie, Nexus Plus S, Extreme Dash 9. So this is a competitive combination with Ultimate Valkyrie. This is probably the best one so far. Now obviously, you can change it to have the core be Perseus or Belial 2. You could also use Quick Dash as an alternate. So in case people are wondering, because sometimes uh, people ask and I can't uh, reply to all the comments because I, I can't keep track, but uh, no, that, th those are things that uh, work. I think Ultimate overall is a really solid release. I think it's really getting a bad rep because of the stock combo. And listen, if you're just judging stock against stock, I think that's fine. But where I really get annoyed is when you when the stock combo, let's say the stock combo sucks. Like Ultimate stock combo, okay, fine, whatever. But then after you generalize it to say, oh, Ultimate's just a bad release. It's, well, it's like, mm, that's not, <laughs> that's not a good take. <laughs> And that's where I will generally disagree, because obviously stock combos do not reflect the overall performance that something can give in their overall competitiveness. Are there times when a stock can be competitive at release? Absolutely. Is it every single time? Most definitely not. And I think it's just important to mention this because I really do care about competitive for Beyblade, and I do engage in a lot of discussion, whether it's to debating Hasbro competitiveness, how effective is something, or talking about Takara effectiveness, you know. I just really care about it. <laughs> so I may go really into it in the comments, but I do respect the fans and I do respect the discussion that we're having because it's fun to talk to fans and get their perspective and as well to agree or disagree. A lot of people sometimes disagree with a certain take or sometimes agree with a certain take, but that should be the relationship. We agree and we disagree on things. So I'm just saying that because I do respect all my fans and I do care about them because I don't like the reputation that people are giving me <laughs> on the, I'm rude in the replies and the comments. I care, I just care about the Beyblade a lot and I don't mean any harm, it's not my intention. Now that being said, we're gonna get started, enough talk. Now obviously, we're gonna just throw this against stock stuff just to really show you, because this thing just slaps around stuff. It's really good. So the reason why this combination is so good is just the power of Nexus Plus S's attack power with those contact points and the power of Extreme Dash for its effectiveness. Overall combines to the Ultimate Blade being really hard smacking and really, really fun to use. And it's really cool. So we're gonna throw it up against like stock stuff and then after I'm gonna actually just get this against like uh, Vanish Longinus. That's the one combo I like to use, Fafnir. It's just really nice to use. It's good with KOing and everything. You know, you still gotta be careful with their situations, you know. Not all the time you should try to go for a crazy strong shoot. You gotta be smart with how you're launching it. Not all the time you'll win like that, for an example. I really should get long in a Sonic Stream. I don't have spare extreme, <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, my, my extremes are not as easy to come by. Yeah, I can use Metal Extreme, but uh, whatever. Okay, just to show it off. Also, I'm afraid I'm not the biggest fan on the Valkyrie. I think it's good for attack combinations, just, uh, I don't know. So generally, you'll get that, but if I reverse the order and I try to go for a hard launch against the two of them. So don't self-kill, please, because I hate self-kills. See, that's why I hate... I'm very careful in the standard arena when I launch, because I hate self-kills. We're gonna keep on going at it. So the thing is, it just really, like if you got Guilty on the same thing, NX plus S, like Guilty is definitely slapping, without a doubt. Guilty just has more attack. It just simply does. And that's one issue with this combination, you can self-KO, so the idea would be, Now 
it's really going to depend on your matchup, but... You know, Guilty just has that push to it. Guilty just has that push to it. Like, if I do this... Head-to-head, -head, Guilty, I think, is still more effective. And, you know, if you're creating, like, a deck, right, and you're on the standard-type arena, you know, most people would probably just use Annex Plus S Metal, uh, and Metal Extreme on Guilty, and they wouldn't use it on the Ultimate. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta decide what you want to choose. I still think it's fine, but, you know... It's got to really depend on how your opponent is launching, how you're launching. So just showing through these rounds, like Guilty... <laughs> Stop self killing Guilty... Hold on. Get, get, get on. There you go. Guilty... Like if I light launch between the two... Okay, we're gonna get this against uh, some other stuff. Not really all stock combos, just against some stock combos, because I know... People just want to see stocks sometimes, and that's fine. All right, so roar. So let me try this. Roar is kind of scary against ultimate. I don't know why. It's just like his ultimate has recoil, but roar also has recoil. So it's almost like they're kind of just canceling each other out and they're just throwing like force on top of each other. Like this is basically stock roar and it's it's doing that much. Like that is how effective it is. And sometimes that's all it needs. You definitely have to learn how to launch it. Like this. You thought I can't launch. Okay. Let's do it again. It's another K. No, no, KO it. Oh, God. No, please. Please KO it. Please, I just... They're going to make fun of me because I can't... They're going to say I can't... They're going to say Zanky can't launch. That's what they're going to do. Please stop. No. No, you got to KO it, Ultimate. Please. Oh, God. Now the comments are going to get after me. Oh, you didn't pocket it that round. Okay, there you go. I did it again. Okay, Astral should be really easy. No, Astral's a burst. I mean, even if I gave this, like... How did I catch it like that? Even if I gave this like overbearing dash and longness, it would probably still lose. Okay, I want to put my money where my mouth is, and then we're gonna actually see. Now I just made a claim. Longness. We're gonna see how many rounds it takes me to beat this thing. So let's pretend it's actually first to three points, because I'm actually curious. So this one's definitely going to go to Astral for the first round. Because I suck. But... Look at that. That's okay. Okay. I basically lost. Okay, okay, it, it's because of the angle. You all know what? We're not going to count it. it. It's still one tail. You know, I, I was at the angle there. Come on. Look at that. This is going to make up for all the rounds I messed up on. Oh, no. Bearing save. I don't know. We're gonna really get into it. The biggest one in the video. The huge one. 
The stamina combo. People don't know what stamina is. It just means spammable stamina. Ba okay, uh, it's basically just like an in, in eat. So stamina is like a stamina combo that people just spam and use a lot. Like a really easy and safe combo like that. Like, oh, you can just use stamina for this, right? So that's that's the context there. I've I've literally used this, so I'm guilty. Eat. So we're gonna try without relying on the Perseus core. That is why you gotta pay respect to like people who use attack really well, cause it's very tough to use and people will just go for the safe thing. I go for the safe thing cause I, I can't be bothered to try and risk it. Very easy KOs right here, very easy KOs. All you gotta do is Let's say they tilt. What happens? Sometimes Baron does that thing where it's like, I don't know what to call it. I'm just gonna call it like plot armor. Like, you know how Astral kind of did that KO from before? Like, Baron just sometimes just like, whoosh, just does that stuff and it's like, well, that kind of sucks. Listen, this is like a very tough combo to go up against, but I promise you, it's really easy to win. I swear, man. I swear. Let me actually, I'm curious. What if I light launch and then after I hard launch this? Okay, go ahead, timestamp all the times I couldn't do it. This is tough, man. Oh my god. I hate this so much. Oh, why did I have to do this? I could have just been stalked the whole video. Now I gotta subject the viewers to me not launching it right. We're gonna bully F gear too. F gear has this coming. Hold on. Gonna launch. Next one, this is it. That was, that was a joke, obviously, it's not, it's the one after that, it's... I don't know what made you think the idea that it would be that round. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm losing my mind, I'm doing one more. If I can't do it, I can't do it. Oh my god, the bearing saved it. Oh my god, that was a wall save. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. You saw it in the comments. In the comments, you saw it. You saw it. I I, I hit it on the wall. I hit it on the wall. And the little, and the little thing, the little thing, the little vanish, huh? The little vanish decided to come back. You, you got lucky. That was a little wall save, huh? Huh? Oh, you're not going to get another wall save. I'm telling you that much. God help me. God Valkyrie help me. This is, the, the majority of this video is gonna be on this. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. No more in the video. I did it. It only took me, count in the comments. You know, count in the comments how long it took me to do that. See, that was good. That was, <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, now I get to go up against another couple that's on the same level of annoyance. Now that's into that'd probably be Roar again. Honestly, I don't even know if I can KO this, but I'm actually just gonna try two tries. It should be easy. Every time I say it should be easy, it's never easy. So I gotta watch my, what I say. This was the practice round, okay. Next round, I'm gonna get it. As so long as I beat it. This is a Devil Belly Owl, Devil. This is a devil of a bay I'm going up against. No, it's Dynamite Belial F-Gear. 
over high extend plus dash with the three armor and it has belly out too. Now I'm just curious, I thought straight shooting could work on this, I guess not. Okay, so that was the second practice round, but you can actually win, like super easy. So come on. When have I ever said that and it hasn't panned out exactly how I'm hoping it to? actually really big. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you can actually do it when it hits big. And it could almost burst it too. Hold on. One more. Please. Please. Just do it before my audio battery runs out. Please do it. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm doing one more after that's bearing and then after I give up. Oh man, don't miss. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Final round. Oh God, final round. I got one, I got like two minutes left on the camera. Oh God, final round. Hurry up, come on, hurry up. I don't got time left for your, your, your your, your, whatever you're doing. Okay, there you go. So, how good is this combination? Uh, pretty good. Does it have weaknesses? Uh, yeah, basically what I showed, if you can't get it right on uh, your launch strength, if you angle it wrong, or just bad circumstance, you get self KO or you just get KO'd back. But uh, yeah, where I want to end off of the video. All right, my, uh, my adrenaline rush from doing all these rounds is uh, starting to. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe during these times. And thank you for all the support and have good fun. Bye.